Hi, today I'm going to show you our WooCommerce Order Export Premium plugin. This is a, a pretty nifty plugin that has a whole host of features and functionality that allows you to export your data from WooCommerce in a variety of different ways. We're going to do a quick walkthrough, so let's uh, dive right on in. This is the main export uh, screen where you can run a, an export. Um, you get to pick a whole bunch of different uh, um, filters and ways to choose what data actually gets exported. The first thing you get is to look at the dates. Um, you can obviously pick specific dates. Um, we have some predefined ranges here. Uh, if you wanted sort of today's orders or year to date or last month's or month to date, uh, you can you can have whatever you want. Um, why don't we go with year to date for now? Okay. The next thing you get is to you get the ability to change how the data is formatted in the actual export. Uh, you can choose how it's sorted, you can choose date formats, you can choose time formats, you get to choose the name, um, how the fields are broken up, uh, comma being the most common. Um, if you've got non-Western characters, you can handle that. Um, and you get to choose how each line item appears. So if a customer buys two, three, four, five, six items, do they appear uh, one item per row? Or do you put them in separate columns? We're just going to leave it at the default settings for now. Then this is a pretty cool feature. Um, the plugin, if you ask it, will remember which orders you've already exported and only export new ones. So that's quite nice if you run uh, ad hoc reports two, three, or four times a day, or a week, or a month, or whatever your um, uh, time frame is. Um, it will remember the last ones that were already exported and only give you new ones. That's a very nice new feature in there. Um, then you get to choose some filters. Um, this is again another new uh, and cool uh, set of functionality that's been built. You can literally pick uh, you know, what it is you want to filter your orders by. So if I only wanted US dollar uh, orders, um, I could do that. If I wanted to uh, uh, only export things that were um, paid for by check, you can do that as well. And you can add as many of these as you want. And if you notice, when I pick one of these uh, conditions, it uh, automatically populates this with all the values that are in the database. So you don't have to remember what was there. You can find them. I'm just going to get rid of those. Um, you can also do the same by products. You can choose which products you want to export um, or if there's a category. And also with coupons. Um, either everything that's got a coupon or if there's some specific uh, coupons you're interested in, you can do that. Then we get to the main uh, the main sort of uh, meat of this, which is which fields do you want to bring out? Um, this is very nice. You can uh, drag and drop and just sort these things around. You've got the fields in basic grouping here. So if you wanted, uh, you know, order total, we could bring that out. We can delete that. Uh, if we want the payment gateway that came out, we can do that as well. There's metadata here, which is. Uh, um, a lot of sort of behind the scenes data that you can get if you have plugins creating extra data on WooCommerce, you can find it here as well if they've uh, stored it in the same format. Um, shipping, billing, uh, information about the line items, information about the product, um, and some user information as well. Uh, now this is a cool uh, little feature we've added on here. This is the preview um, button. And what this does is very quickly when you press it, it will just bring up the first 25 records that match. So you don't have to run a full export, you can just run it and make sure you're getting what you expect. And you can see that in there. And then you can go ahead and just run the uh, the export. Um, so that's the main, the main page. Um, and that's where you would go if you just wanted to run some instant exports. Um, you can do that. Uh, we also have a settings page um, and really this does a couple of things right now. One, it just keeps um, a log of your scheduled exports and uh, you can see exactly uh, what the input parameters were and you can see what happened, you know, how many uh, how many records it uh, executed. This is useful um, if you're uh, having trouble getting your exports working and you want to see exactly what's going on. This just allows you to see that. Um, another cool little feature here is now you can uh, import and export settings. So if you want to copy your settings from one site to another, you can just go in, copy those, paste them in, import them, and away you go. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep what we've got here. Um, but you get the idea of what you can do there. Um, also very helpful for uh, troubleshooting. Um, if as a customer you're having some problems, you can just send us this 
um, and we can load it into our system to see exactly what's going on. Um, so very, very cool little feature. Uh, then we get to what people really like about this plugin, which is scheduled exports. So um, you can set up as many of these as you want. Um, in this example, I've just uh, got three of them. Um, and uh, the summary table here just lets you see at a high level what you've got going on. You choose the title. Um, what delivery methods do you have and you're not restricted to one you can have directory email or FTP and I'll talk about those in a second a little information about delivery details and then just for your reference when's it running uh, when did it last run and when's it coming up again um, you can edit them you can delete them you can uh, clone them if you want to create new ones. I'm just going to go in and take a quick look at one just so we can uh, uh, get a view of what it looks like uh, inside here. So you see these sections down here should look very familiar. They're exactly the same as the main export. And then we just got a, a couple of different pieces added on here. Um, as I said, first you get to pick the name. What do you want to call this? Um, you get to decide when you want to run it. You can run it on specific days at a time. You can pick one of our uh, predefined schedules in here. Um, and then where do you want it to go? Um, we can deliver in a, a couple of different ways. Uh, we can deliver it via email, we can deliver it via FTP, um, or you can just have it stored on a directory on your uh, WordPress site for you to come and pick up whenever you want. Uh, so a bunch of different options there. Um, so that's uh, just a quick run through. Hope that uh, whets your appetite. Take a look. If you have any questions, reach out and contact us. Um, but thank you for taking your time and uh, let us know if you have any questions on it. Thank you. Bye-bye.